and I believe there is a rune up here. There certainly is. 76 metres that way. Oh, and we've got guards. Okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to Great Games Live Plays The Hits, the series where I take on the very best video games of all time. And today I am back with some more Dishonored. Now, if you were with us last time out, you will know that we have taken down the Lord Regent himself here in Burrows, but we've still got a little bit to do in the level. We've got to find two more runes and make our way back to Samuel. Let's see if we can do it. The torturer's chambers, my goodness me. Okay, let's have a look what's going on in here. Okay, well, there's the aforementioned torturer. That doesn't look too pleasant. And we've got a hound. Okay, I'm going to try and take out the hound early doors. There we go. Did the torturer notice? Doesn't seem to have done. Okay, let's try and get up there. Okay. All right. Okay, he's now noticed that the dog has been knocked unconscious. This does not bode well for me. Uh, I'm going to try and choke him out. Let's see how it goes. Don't like this fellow, I'll be honest with you. Not a big fan of it. Come on, where are you... Where, where are you going, man? Ah, there you are. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's take him out. There we go. Wonderful. Took out the torturer. Fantastic. Let's grab the room. Here you are, Corvo. Within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold. You're an unstoppable force, it seems, but also unpredictable. The Lord Regent lives despite all he's done, and that is most surprising. The last year must have been agony for such a tightly wound man, watching as the plague spiraled out of control, as people on the streets went mad and died bleeding from the eyes, knowing that it was all his fault. As you hunted down his people one by one, and finally came for him, he must have realized that all his planning was for nothing, and that must have been exquisitely terrifying. But in the end, you chose the more measured response. What will that mean in the days to come, I wonder? I've lived a long, long time, and these are the moments I wait for. Okay, that was a particularly unpleasant end to that conversation, and as, as his eyes and dentures were just left sort of hanging midair, but we'll, we'll try and get past that and get out of here for goodness sake. Right, I believe... Okay, we've got one more rune to get. I think we've got all the bone charms, and now we just need one more rune. Um, and I, I believe I know where it is. Okay. I'm going to try and head back the way I came. If pos. Things are bad. My goodness me. Wow. How I managed to do that without being seen is pretty unbelievable, but I've done it. Let's rock and roll. I think I've got to go this way anyway. Look out, we've got a prowler. What are you talking about? I mean, of course there is one, but I didn't think you'd spot all the uh, people that I've tangled with. Okay, here we go. This, I think, is where we have to go to get to the final rune in the level. Up these stairs. Up, more, and more stairs. Okay, here we go. And here we are, at the very top of Dunwall Tower. And I believe 
There is a rune up here. There certainly is. 76 metres that way. Oh, and we've got guards. Okay, we're going to let them go about their business. I, meanwhile, I'm going to wander over here. And then over here. This is where we need to go to be able to get this final rune. Okay, there is an open window here. And there is a tall boy inside just waiting for anyone who comes across them. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use bend time to try and get past them. Oh, this is going to be dicey. Oh. Okay, I've stopped time. Let's go over to here. It's the regent safe room and here. And let's shut this door. Okay. Okay, magic will now not work in here. So I've just got to keep an eye out for this tall boy. Uh, this is bad news. The rune is over there. I'm going to have to uh, YOLO it momentarily. Okay, tall boy's gone over there. Hide, 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 hide. Under the table. Perfect. Okay, where's that tall boy? Okay, it's over there. While it's going about its business, I am going to swiftly take one of those to fill up my magic meter. And then when it turns around, I'll take the rune, bend time again, and be on my way. Hopefully. Come on, off you pop. There he goes. Off you go. Right, here we are. Final rune of the level is ours. Okay. Oh, I'm being disorientated by the Overseer device and my magic's not working, but that's okay. We can deal with that. Let me get here. Uh, hopefully... Oh, if they could just go away so I could actually use the... Uh, Use my magic. That would be rather helpful round about now. Come on, stop disorientating me. Curse you. I need to use my uh, stop time power. If I work my way back, will that work? There we go. Run! And we are out! My goodness me, we are out. Whew! Well, that was absolutely hideous. So now I've got to make my way past these guards, get back to Samuel, and we are absolutely golden. Finally, I can leave this place. Let's rock and roll! Alright, what I'm going to do is head my way back to the place where I came in and then we can be on our way. Just got to watch out for any guards that might still be patrolling. But that should be everything. Yes, okay. So we're going to wander over here. Skadoosh. Up onto here. Boom, here we are. This is where we were. And this is where we came in. Okay, we are outside the tower. What I'm going to try and do is get up onto this watchtower, take it out, and then be on my way. Come on, let me on. There we go. Right, take out the whale oil. That stops that. So now that can't spot me. Head over to here. Alright, the tall boy is patrolling over there, so I'm going to go for it. Over the top, and away we go. I think there's a couple of guards down there, if I remember correctly, but they, they're sort of on their way at the moment. They are elsewhere, otherwise preoccupied. Alright, let's go for it. We've, oh, we are getting close to finally finishing this level. Where are you, Samuel? There you are! I am so desperate to see you again, my friend. You have no idea. Okay. Now. Oh, okay, we've got a guard. We've got a guard. You know what? I'm not taking any chances. Down you go, my friend. Bosh. 
Uh, where, how did I get up here in the first place? I, can, I can't remember. Here we go. This is where I came in. Wonderful. Okay, I'm going to make my way down the tower and out of the waterlock once again. Here we go, Samuel. Where are you, Samuel? Is it all done? You ready to go back to the hound pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Big changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new High Overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. All right, we are going to speak to the loyalists and no doubt they will be singing my praises and everything will be wonderful. We'll see. Attention Dunwall City. Corvo! Everyone says you did something good tonight. The Lord Regent is no longer in power. His corrupt and illegitimate regime has come to a close. Long live the Empress. Damn me, he's done it. Word is spreading all over the city. The tyranny is over. By this time tomorrow, Emily will be on the throne. After that, we'll clear your name and put everything we've got into rebuilding the city. I wish there were more of a city to rule. Most of Dunwall is rats and corpses. The Admiral's right, I'm afraid. Corvo, you did your job while the rest of us sat on our asses. Our work starts tomorrow. Tonight, rest easy. Tomorrow, we crown an empress. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. She'll need higher mathematics, court protocol, and cosmology, of course. Okay, you well, I guess like we'll you head upstairs to bed, I suppose. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job, then. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent, and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. I'm sorry something terrible, Corvo. But I only gave you half the poison. They were watching me, and it was all I could think to do. I think you're strong enough to survive that. I'll put you on a raft, and then I've got to ship out myself before they find out I've gone against their wishes. Snakes. They'll want to do the same to me as soon as I've outlived my uses. 
Hopefully you'll wake up and find your way out of this cursed city. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. Hilary. That's up to doubt. to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. Okay, well, we're back in the void. It looks like we're going to have a little chat with the outsider once again. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. Would you believe it? We've been double crossed by the loyalists. I'm not quite sure how we're going to get out of this one, but get out of it, we will. I promise that. But it's going to have to wait for a future episode of Great Games Live Plays the Hits. Until then, I want to say thank you so much for watching. It is always appreciated, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs>